Hey, what's up guys? So right behind me is my Old Town PDL. Uh, and I have this kayak for the past two years. It's a great kayak and I doubt I'm gonna get rid of it anytime soon. So uh, recently Old Town came out with this upgrade for the steering control, which allows you to lock it in place in the event that you don't wanna keep changing direction all the time. You just wanna go straight, you're doing a drift, etc. It's a, it's a simple upgrade, but it's a great upgrade for your kayak. So, um, recently bought it online, it was about 35 bucks. So it's not a very expensive upgrade. Uh, it looks like it's pretty simple to change. All you need is a 3 8 wrench, a uh, Phillips screwdriver, and some uh, eye protection. So uh, let's go over it. I'm gonna show you how I do it, and hopefully it'll help you uh, install yours and at the same time, hopefully it'll motivate you to go get the upgrade, because it's pretty sweet. And for 35 bucks, I think that everybody should be able to afford it. So, uh, just stay tuned. So first of all, if you are going to uh, be working over grass, I would recommend you put something under a kayak. That way, if anything falls under, you're not spending 30 minutes looking for it or possibly losing it. So. Uh, uh, that's just a recommendation that I have for you guys. The first step in this process is to remove the rotor cables from the rotor unit. You do this by basically just taking out these screws. By the way, I have brought a uh, small container to put whatever I remove out of the kayak. So let's put them over here. Close it. Just want to make sure I don't lose them in the grass. So that's it. It's removed. It's moving freely. The cables are here. You see the, rod, the rudder control is moving left and right as I'm pulling each side of the rudder cable. So that's pretty neat. Okay, so the next step in the process will be to use the Phillips screwdriver to remove each one of these screws that are holding the control knob in place. So let's do that right now. So, okay, so they're all out and it comes out pretty easy. Okay. Grab the screws. They don't fall inside the kayak. So as you can see, it's pretty much out of, it's pretty straightforward. There's not much going on here. The next step, using the same screwdriver, I have it right here. Uh, so, see this screw right here? we have to remove this screw right here. Basically, that's what's holding the cable in place. Okay. Okay, so now that we have removed the old steering system, we have this one right here, brand new one. So you can see uh, it's basically the same thing. So let's go ahead and remove this thing right here. Put it away for a second, all right? So remember, don't be confused, okay? So this thing goes like this. You gotta make sure that the rudder cable is still in position. Let's not get it confused and put it like this because then afterwards, you're gonna have to flip it and it's gonna be double the work. So remember, this is how it goes and the cable basically just sits here. All right, perfectly. I think this will be like the best way to place it in there because you're not twisting the rudder cables and you leave it in place. So let's put it in there. Okay, it's pretty good. Now, I have pulled the cables, so I'm going to get back there and pull them again. 
pull them back. That way there's no slack. You can see it's moving. Perfect. And then basically place it in there. It's good to go. And it's pretty straightforward, guys. Just screw it back again. Also guys, some of you might wanna clean that area. I didn't do it, I totally forgot about it. But the area, you know, when once you remove the old one, there's gonna be, I mean, you see it in the video, there's some, uh, there's some dirt and some water residue and stuff in there. So, uh, be a good idea to, uh, some rubbing alcohol, just clean up that area and make it look brand new. But if you don't, it's not a big deal. The next part will be to put the knob, the actual knob in there. And as you can see, there's some threading here. Basically, you just drop the screw in there. That should be good. Okay, and then we are done. That's it. Obviously, we have to connect the router cables. This is the last step of the project. Reconnecting the router cables. There's a big hole and a smaller hole with the thread. Uh, the one with the threads is the one that goes under, and then you just grab the little screws. Okay. Awesome. Excellent. So, see, I don't notice any difference. This is a really easy project. It should take you no more than five minutes to do it, or maybe ten. Uh, obviously, I was going through the instructions and talking and stuff, but it's a really easy project to do. It's cheap. It's a great upgrade for your kayak, and I think everybody should get it. So you can see the rudder right behind me. It's still moving pretty good, but the good thing is that I can lock it in place now just by spinning this knob right here, and now it's rock solid. I can use it as a skeg now. I can use it as drifting thing whatever it's a great upgrade i hope i hope it motivates you guys to uh, do the same it's only 35 bucks online and uh it'll add more points to your kayak so uh give it a try and let me know how it goes okay see you later